<laughs> Yo, facts. Alright, one, two, three. Alright, guys. Welcome to the eighth ever episode of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, low key. Got John here with me. Got Jay here uh, with me. Gio's supposed to be here, but you already know he's here in spirit, man. But uh, yeah, man, we're back with another episode. And um, we appreciate all the subscribers. We appreciate everybody that's watching us again, coming back and vibing with us, man. You already know what we do. We got some rolled up. So roll your J, roll your blunt, pack your bong, pack your bowl, get your torches ready, and vibe with us, man. We got some content. We got yeah. some content for you guys today. Yes, yeah, sir. Some firsthand experience shit happened yesterday, man. Yes, sir. Some crazy shit. <laughs> but, <laughs> hey. <laughs> gotta be gotta be appreciative of another day, man, for mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. Seriously. But um, but yeah, uh, today we're we're coming back we're coming back with another episode, and we have something very interesting for you guys. Um, we have a first hand experience on shrooms. An outer body. Experience. An outer body outer. experience. Outer body. That's Our crazy. boy Jay over here tried some shrooms yesterday, and um, he had an outer body experience that. John and I over here witnessed firsthand, and um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, man, that shit was it was kind of scary for a second, bro. It was kind of scary. Yo, yeah, was scary. I was scared, bro. <laughs> <laughs> when I seen the look on John's so, face, bro. Um, let's let's start from the beginning of what happened, though, and, and, and let's explain of like, you know, the consequences of you know, of you not. How would you say that? Eating. Eating. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> being Starving. prepared. <laughs> yeah, being prepared to take some shrooms. Cause, you Anything know, at all. Alcohol, shrooms, whatever your choice is, even too much pot. You don't got a full belly. You that's might a, regret it. That's yeah, a fact. Seriously. That's a fact. But yeah, man, it was it was crazy. Uh, he ended up taking, what was it, two... 2.4, 2.5, something like that? I know, I know it was more than I was ready for. <laughs> right. But I'm thankful I did <laughs> <laughs> you ended up taking a couple grams of shrooms, man, and having one of one of the best experiences that yeah. that he's experienced. He says so. Some people might say it was a trip, a right. bad trip. I don't think it was a bad trip. So let's get into it, man. It what, was it was interesting. It was yeah, very interesting. it was interesting to watch, bro. So, all right, man. So let's start at when you started feeling like you were leaving your body. <clears throat> Did that happen when you sat down or before you sat down? Like, that happened the moment where I felt like I had left, bro. Like, I had left into another realm. Was I was sitting down, but right before that, right, from the research that I, you know, was telling you guys about, about the loss of perception of time. Right. right? So when I started feeling like, whoa, this is going to be, this is going to hit me. Mm-hmm. I, I already knew that something big was coming. So that's why I checked the time and I sat down. Right. And then he, John said, like, oh, I'm coming down. I'm coming down. Yeah, it was coming down. And I was down. like, really, bro? I was like, because, ah. You're going up. You saw how I went up. He goes, I'm just not right here. Then if you're coming down, bro, like, <laughs> and I was like, yo, yeah. something's definitely up. So then you guys laughed it up and you're like, no, nah, you're good. You're just yeah. enjoying this. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know, you're right. And then all of a sudden, bro, it was like the lights flickered. Remember when the lights went kind of crazy in the room for yeah. a minute? And then I was like, falling like i wasn't falling but like i disconnected i remember kind of sitting and losing myself like leaving right but the moment there was a moment when i felt like i was falling down like a vortex right Mm -hmm. like free falling free falling like Mm -hmm. if i jumped out of a plane is the best way i can explain it and when i started falling it was like colors like flying past me right and i tensed up right but then that's the moment that i i left and saw John from behind, like, grab me, like, yo. And I saw, like, first you guys were laughing. It was cool. And then, like, you guys were like, yo, something serious. And John grabbed me. He's like, and you were like, go get his wife. Go get yeah, his wife. Yeah. And, then, and then all of a sudden when I seen him, like, he, like, kind of walked, like, towards me to right. get to the door, remember, you know, to leave the room. But at that time, like, I came back. And I saw his eyes. I saw, he's like, no, no, no. He's coming back. He's good. He's like, you're good. You're good. And I was like, like. I looked at you and I was yeah. like, no, not nah, fucking good, bro. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, yo, you straight? You're like, nah, I'm he, tripping. He passed out. He passed out in my arms, man. <laughs> but like, eyes rolled, bro. Like, I left my body. But now, for, for, for you guys watching yeah. that have never seen somebody go through this, it was literally... It was crazy, bro. It, it was literally like watching his soul leave his body. Like, you crazy. watched his body go from life to lifeless. Breathing. Like, he and come breathing. back within... Five ten seconds. It wasn't too long, bro. No. It happened quick. Yeah, and then I ran outside. Right. But that feeling, bro, of falling on the outside to you guys, as you guys are explaining it, right? That when I tensed up, that John grabbed me, 
that, like, you know, when my eyes rolled, I felt like I was rolling. Like, falling mm. backwards, spinning, doing backflips multiple times with your eyes open. Wow. That's what my eyes felt like. But for some reason, I knew that you guys kept seeing me. Like, it looked like that. You know what? And I felt like I was in a different realm, bro. <laughs> like, when I say different realm, like, I was gone. Right. Like, you could see I'm, your body. You could yeah, see yeah, us. Like, I dirt. never felt anything so... Yeah. Like, I was standing behind you when you were in front of me, if that makes sense. Like, mm. in front of my body, in front of my shell that I left grabbing me making sure i was okay i'm looking at you making sure i was okay on the couch wow that's that's an intense experience like, bro i can't describe it like i can see him try to describe it as best as i can but yeah, I'm, right. like, obviously i was one of those people that when people be like oh i had an out-of-body experience i'm like yeah fuck that guy he never had an out-of-body experience i don't believe that shit facts yeah. he's full of shit yeah like he's full of shit I've, like you left your body what the fuck is that you know but until you go through it you know, and then like I like post that like today. That's all I could think about. You know, because it's such a big <laughs> deal. But after that, that's when I went outside. Right. And but it, it was the thing that I'm gonna tell you that was interesting for me, bro. Was was watching you go through the different waves of emotion, bro. Bro, that was intense too. Yeah. But it's needed. I feel like the research that I did, right? The first few times I tried shrooms, I did it at a safe, you know, safer dose. And I did it with food in my stomach. Right. Yeah, so it was definitely a different experience. Good it was vibe. very light. I just saw little things. It's, if I really focus on the wall, I see waves. You know, I right. see the, the plants outside waving, you know. But yesterday, I wasn't here, but I was here. You know what I mean? Like, when we went outside, at one point, when he was like, oh, I, I'm going to call the ambulance. And I was like, nah. I was like, because I'm not going to die. You know, I knew that I had crossed the little threshold, you know, that where I went too far. Right. But in a way, from what I've been learning and stuff, I kind of wanted to go there. Because that mm. morning, I told my wife, I'm like, well, I was watching a TED Talk on this. And I'm like, man, I wonder what that feels like. I was like, firsthand. Because it's different hearing everybody say what their experience is and describing this psychotic fucking crazy shit. And you're just like, eh, man, come on. You didn't really see worms and you didn't really right. see this. But, bro, my cousin told me that. Oh, bro, I saw worms one time coming out of the floor. And I remember I told my wife, I don't know. I don't believe that. I know the mind's powerful. And it's powerful right. enough to make you believe anything. Yeah. One exactly. thing, bro, that if you're not prepared for shrooms and you don't do a little bit of research, you know, you don't, you know, take it lightly. Like, bro, you might feel like you're dying. Especially, yeah, that's yeah, Especially a fact. if you build stuff, like you hold stuff in bro. for a matter of time. And then, like, you really yeah. start to see it. Yo. Like, you know, yeah, that's what I was telling you downstairs, bro. You. It, it shows you to yourself, bro, and yeah. it peels you back like layer yeah. by layer. I feel It'll, the people who don't like it are the people who are not don't want to see that. They're not. Way. They're not true to themselves. Yeah. Their conscience isn't yeah. clear, bro. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's an important thing. If your conscience is dirty and you know, you don't know who you are. Not for you. You got to be yeah. right up in the mind to a certain extent. Like you, if you're going through some traumatic stuff, if you're too prideful, things like that, because bro, your ego is gone when you disconnect, bro. Like. The disconnection is the craziest thing. I could sit here and try to explain the colors and all that. And I'm sure there's tons of listeners out there that have heard, you know, probably right. heard stories. But, bro, when I mean I've seen some crazy stuff, i seen, like, the eye, you know, the, that the Egyptians draw with, with and what people might believe. But, bro, it was, it was real. What I saw, nobody can tell me it wasn't real. Right. Like, I was gone. Yeah, it was and, there. But I was talking to you guys. Yeah, you, you were know, there the whole time. I was describing everything that I was going through as vividly as I could to you guys. Right. Because it was insane. You know, like... It sounds like somebody crazy talking or somebody going yeah. psycho losing their mind. Yeah, it does. It, it does. does. Like, the next time I would like to record that shit in the name of science, I truly right. believe that. So I could <laughs> you were back. saying that the whole time, too. You're like, I bro, know, record this shit. Because I was aware. I'm just like, holy shit, yeah. I am in a different mental... Like, I am gone. But the way that you landed, like, your body. Like, yeah. I remember you... Saying, you know, it felt like we went through like a, what would you call that? A vortex. A vortex. Bro, it was crazy. You know? I and the next it. thing you know, your body was cold, stiff. You didn't, like, bro, you took your last breath. And I thought you were joking. Honestly. Yeah. I definitely I did were, stop I, breathing for a little bit. Because when I came bro, back, it was I was a like, couple Ooh. seconds, yeah. And, I, yeah. And, and I, thought, I thought you were joking with me. Yeah. Like, I thought you no, were I just trying to. No, I saw you guys laughing, though. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. I get it. And then I saw y'all get serious. Nah, I got fuck. serious yeah. quick, bro. <laughs> like, real serious. When, when I saw your eyes roll into the back of your head, and I saw you completely stiff and just like, not breathe for a couple seconds, I yeah. was like, bro, nah. go get his wife. <laughs> he did one of these. He went. <laughs> <laughs> 
and then he just croaked over. John makes it look like I was on heroin. Yeah, facts. Just for the viewers that wasn't on heroin. I never done it. It was only shrooms. It was only shrooms, guys. Pookie was shaking in the corner. Nah, but I was feeling like this guy right here. I was lit as fuck. (laughs) It was definitely an experience, bro. But it was was a crazy crazy experience watching you go through that, bro. Because it was enlightening, man. And what you were saying, like, you weren't. You might have thought that you weren't making sense to us, but bro, you were making sense. Like a lot of things that you were talking about, you might have been jumping from topic yeah, to topic I was, a little and I bit. Was aware of that, yeah. But you were making sense. Like yeah. everything you the were speaking. The connections are there. Yeah. Right. The, it's true what people you told me. You know that you make connections mm-hmm. there, and you, what you told me also, you believe everybody's connected. You ne- you don't feel that ever in your life. I until feel you as much that. until you get there. Right. That you feel like, oh my gosh, the sympathy for people. Like, man, I love the next person. They don't, it makes sense why the government don't want people to figure this out. That's a fact. what would happen if people really tapped into that consciousness and really saw the person next to him, like, <coughs> man, and sympathy for them, like, man, they're going through it. Yeah, yeah. he cut me off in traffic, but I'm not going to go scream out, you motherfucker, bye, bye. You know, be like, that guy's mom probably, you know, died. He's on the way to the hospital. Right. You know, be a little more sympathetic, just like you would want somebody to be to you, obviously. Exactly. Going back to that old thing. Yeah, man, because you yeah. never know what somebody went through before they walked in the room, dog. Like, for real. Like, yeah. somebody could walk in the room and you're like, oh, look at this nigga, whatever. But that person might have just lost their dad. That person might have just got mm-hmm. fired. You know what I'm saying? You don't know That's what's true, going man. on. And That's true. You're right, bro. Like, I never experienced that until I got there with Shrooms too. Like, it really made me realize we're all connected and we we need each other, bro. Yeah. We Honestly, like, people would be like, oh, I don't fucking need nobody, oh, this and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they're bro, cold and we shit, need like, each other yeah, to, we need to each be other. stable and be be good and be mentally, mentally good. You know what I'm saying? Everything, yeah. Bro, if you're not ready, though, for the shrooms ride, just don't do yeah, it. Don't, if you're, don't if get you're into not, it, like, yeah. a mentally, like, strong person that understands how to separate the reality from the fake, don't do it. Because one thing that I did understand was what was fake. And I felt like, holy shit, like, I'm just, like, that third eye, I'm woke. As people say, I'm woke as fuck. Yeah, Next time people right. are like, What's the, who's the wokest person you know? I'm going to be like, me. Me. <laughs> I know firsthand. You know why? Because yeah. I died for, like, not, you know. You did die. Yeah. And then I, like, came back. You did die. Not some Mike Jack shit. That was yeah. wild, but, like, bro. Shit. Like, you're talking about, because, you know, you be seeing that type of shit, like, on top of, like, you know, TV shows. You know, like, people Movies dying. And, and, and people and, doing out of body. Or the dog talking. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know the dog. You know Remy. Right? Yeah, I don't know Remy. those. But if the viewers know, you know John has a, a English or a French bulldog, French bulldog named yeah. Remy, and he was here. And at one point, John was holding him, and he was just trying to get my attention. Yeah, is the best way I can explain it. Like, <laughs> yeah. hey, hey, with an old man voice, and and Damn. that's what I mean about being mentally strong. Sometimes you see some things that if you don't know, like, ooh, this is reality. I'm on a trip, and are conscious and understand that. Once you get on that roller coaster ride and they bring down that bar over your lap, all the screaming and begging you do once you take off is not going to stop that roller coaster. So you better be ready for what you're going to feel. You're not going to die. You don't have to run to the hospital. Right. But respect yeah. it. Respect yeah, respect it. it. And definitely, definitely eat before you do it. <laughs> yeah, dude. That shit will yeah. fuck you if you do it on an empty stomach. But the best part is, like, you got to have a trip nanny. And you have to That's do it with fact. people you're comfortable with. And I'm thankful that John and Heck were here because if it wasn't, I would be done. Would I would be have done. been. Yeah. Yeah, my wife would have been need... freaking out because she doesn't understand. Right, yeah. right. So you guys kept her, you know, calm, you know, and you guys, ba- they babysat me all night long, which I appreciate. <laughs> hey, There's man. no problem, bro. It's just like, you know, people getting drunk, like your homie drinking too much. Right. Yeah. You know, you, you got to take, take care of them. Bro. You know who your real friends yeah. are when... You know, when you're vulnerable. When like the shit hits the fan. Yeah. And yeah, then the Takashis come out. Like, Seriously. <laughs> you know, <laughs> when you're at a point where you can't defend yourself <laughs> and your boys are there for you, that's how you know you got some real ones. And that's, yeah. that's for sure. That's and a, a lot fact, of people bro. don't have real ones. That's like 99.999% of the population. So yeah, like, Everybody's true, rolling bro. around with fake people. Everybody's got your back until things get a little tough or... Man, did he, is he dying, bro? I'm out. I'm out, bro. I ain't got yeah. nothing to do with this. I'm Run leaving. I'm going to leave. Yeah, I, ain't gonna deal with it. I, yeah. Yeah, I have boys die like that because somebody was too scared to just be like, yo, he's overdosing. Mm. You know, I mean, I don't pop pills. I don't do you know right. that kind of stuff, but I've had friends, a lot of friends in school that have done it. You know, and the thing with psychedelics, this is new to me. You know, right. I did, I've did. i done my research enough for a while now to like, 
know that I want to try this. I want to try this experience. I want to see if people, and I'll tell you what, people are right. The people <laughs> that tell you that they tripped and they tell you the story that you might be like, man, that That's sounds bullshit. like a movie. Yeah. He definitely did not see all that. I believe it. The next person that tells me, I'm going to be like, I believe it 100%. Because mm-hmm. until you see it, you don't really understand it. Right. So while you were going through it, man, I remember you saying a couple of times, you, you were like, I never want to do this again. Yeah, yeah. That there was, was a couple times where yeah. I heard you say that. Why, so, what, the, what, what what was the feeling you were feeling at that moment where you were like, "I just don't want to feel this ever again"? That, bro, I see. I was like tripping, seeing some pretty crazy stuff, and then like, was it like shapes? Was it like animal? Like what was I can it though? Describe it like hieroglyphics type of stuff. Mm. You know, like the Egyptian third eye, like like that shapes kind of stuff. Yeah, okay. like weird shapes, just like floating in the abyss. Like, mm. but. When I would feel the, you know, that time when I'd be like, oh man, I don't feel good. I'm never doing this again. Right. I felt the best way I can describe it is being put in one of those like vortex machines that are spinning around. Like the astronauts get ready in the, you know, zero gravity type of whoa, whoa, Fuck, whoa. man. Like that. And I was like, ah, like it felt crazy to me in my stomach, like inside. You know, that's why my wife was yeah, saying, your see, eyes were I rolling it, into the back of your head. Up. Yeah, and like, I would tense up, bro. Like, yeah. Because I felt like I was getting spun around at like 5,000 miles per hour. So then that was the moment where I'm like, yo, fuck this. <laughs> I never want to feel this shit again. I feel mm. like I feel like it's the lights, too. The lights really affect you. I f- yeah, you're definitely sensitive to certain kind of light. And that's why the atmosphere, too, and the people around you are very important as far as when you want to try that out. Right. You know, yeah. don't do it in a wrong Do it in a Imagine. safe setting with yeah. people that you trust, yeah. you know, and have somebody... That- at least have one person there sober. Yeah, you know and we're I mean? not condoning that people go out and try shrooms right. and do all that stuff because that's right. not what we're saying. This is just for educational purposes. Exactly. Somebody's experience that yeah. was doing it like had a crazy trip for, yeah. right. for the first time. You know yeah. what I'm and saying? And that, that's the interesting thing too. You had tried it before. Yeah, You've done exactly. it what, two, three times before? Yeah, that was the fourth time. Yep. So that was the fourth time and that's the time that's that you the experienced time that it. I, bro, I just don't even have words sometimes. That's like, wild, I was bro. gone. All right, so you felt while you were doing it, you felt you were like, "Fuck this! I never want to do it again." Yeah. Once you came down and and you saw the whole trip in its totality, how did you feel? I needed that in my life, and I feel <laughs> like every person in the world, as crazy as this sounds, I know it sounds crazy, should go through that once at least, right? Because the connections that you make and just the ego the pride you're stripped butt naked bro like you naked your emotions are yeah, gone your emotions are gone and the appreciation you have for people you know for those who have helped you like you know what's real you just know what's real it's like an awakening and right you see what's real and you see what's fake but it's not like when you're drunk like people can get blasted drunk and they're not there but i still was there but i wasn't like in my body you were completely conscious though, brother. Yeah, like, and I kept talking and hearing. And you yeah. kept saying it. You're like, I know I'm tripping, yeah. and I know, I know I might come off a certain way, yeah. but I'm aware. Yeah, you kept saying that. You're like, I'm aware. Because yeah. that's important, bro. That was what had me like kind of mesmerized by this whole experience. That I kept telling my wife, I was like, the craziest part is that I kept hearing Hector like, you're doing good, bro. Like everything. <laughs> you're and right. I'm like, boom, because that helps. You yeah, know bro. Because at times I wouldn't hear you guys. Even like the fact that my wife was like, I was laying right on your body. But I'm here, I'm here asking her, like, babe, babe, where are you? Like, babe, babe, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So, like, and she's like, I'm right here. And then you said also that she was laying right on me. But I was not, like, there. I was like a shell. I was down in the pit looking up through a <clears throat> circle in the sky and seeing you guys hanging out there with my wife there. Yeah, just looking down at you. And I'm calling out, yeah. like, hey, hey, y'all. Like, I'm good in here, but I'm fucked up. I'm on right. a roller coaster. Because yeah. remember when I'd be like, it was like going down a river. Mm. And you got the smooth waters and it feels good. You're like, shit. The and then you hit the nice. rocky and shit. And then you hit the rocky shit. Bye, bye. You're like, oh, oh, shit. And you guys would see that. I know you guys yeah. saw me like, yeah. uh-oh, here comes another one. Here yeah, comes you would say one. You'd be like, here comes another wave. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, <laughs> bro, I was, bro, to be honest, I wanted to feel what you were feeling. <laughs> no kid, no, and no I was just like, because when you were leaving this earth, I was just, I was coming back down. You're welcome. Yeah. That was for you. You know what? All this, all this that happened yesterday was for me. Was for you. Was for you. Was for I'm not gonna life. lie. I took a lot, bro. I'm I took telling that, you, I it, took a lot home. I, with yeah, me, bro. man. Bro. I couldn't sleep that night, man. It was I last was night. Oracle, bro. This was last. This night. was last night, by the way. Yeah, this is last night. It just happened. This is fresh. Mm-hmm. And today, I'll tell you what. I've never felt so grateful in my life, mm-hmm. like, not because I like died or whatever, but you start you start realizing what you need real. to appreciate and yeah. the people you want around you. Exactly. 
you know, you definitely see things for what they are. You see how shitty you are if you're a shitty fucking person. Yeah. Right. You start seeing your faults and you start, yep. you notice what you need to work on about but yourself. But you're comfortable speaking about them. Exactly. I don't feel no ego. I don't feel no pride. I, it was like a greater sense of knowing myself. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and I love it. Like, damn, like, that experience is just like, bro, I do it again. And I, to be honest, bro, <laughs> while you were going through it, I was like, yo, this nigga's never, never gonna allow us back at his house. Yo, his wife's gonna kill me. Yo, facts. yo his wife's never gonna cook, cook ever. No more. Bro, For me. No. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, like, that is an experience <laughs> that, like, I was telling my wife today, I was like, bro, it'll definitely make you believe that there's a God. Mm. Bro, I'll tell you one thing. If one thing out of all that experience that, I learned is there's a God. If people do their research, if people want to go look online, there's definitely a lot of people that, oh, I was like, oh, I went on this trip and I met God and I met God. And then people might think like, okay, man, you were just tripping. That's what it was. Right. But until you're there, you can't really speak. You can only give opinions, right? Like, yeah. oh, this is what I believe. That seems impossible. There's a lot of shit in the world that seems impossible that people do on a daily basis. You know? That's there's true. There's people in the world that there's a show about people who are superheroes. <laughs> this man that electrocutes himself and can take all these volts of electricity. A normal person would be like, oh, that's impossible. Who's to say what's possible and what's impossible? Nobody. Because yeah. that man, that show, remember, like, I forget what it was called, but they had different people. Like, this man has electricity in his hands. He could light up a light bulb. Right. You know, and it was on TV. It was like one of those reality shows. And the person was like elastic skin. He could stretch mm-hmm. himself. You know, and it's just like, how do these people, somebody would say, oh, that's impossible. You know what I'm saying? This person was born with an arm behind his, his head. Like, oh, that can't happen. That's crazy. Until it happens. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just like Bill Gates, you know, and people like Steve Jobs. <clears throat> they've, done, they've done like mushrooms and LSD. I yeah, believe. bro. Yeah. The, the smartphone, the tablet. Come on. You, do you think that was ideas? Bro, those were revolution. Yo, they changed the world. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Smartphones. Think about a time before smartphones. You can almost not even remember it. Yeah. Seriously. Think about a time before apps. Right. It feels weird. It, and that was only like 10 years ago. Yeah. It wasn't that long ago. We, I, I remember. Bro, you want to talk clear. about time on shrooms? People lose the connection with time, right? That's important, too, to keep on track. That's why I kept checking the time. Yeah. Like, time flies. You know what I'm saying? When you're going through that experience, you feel like you learned a lifetime amount of knowledge in a matter of a couple the span hours. of a few hours. Yeah. Yeah. Like, all the stuff that's pouring. I was talking so much, and I was aware that I was rambling off. But I was just rambling off everything that I, I was hearing, I guess you could say. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything that I was, be, I was, like, being fed. And I was just... And it was crazy even to me, bro. And I knew that at some points you guys were weird now because I was shaking. And I was aware I was shaking, and yeah. my eyes were rolling. It looked like you were having a seizure, bro. Yeah, bro. But inside, I bad, felt but... okay. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like, you can't, you can't the die fact from that shoes, you right? Can't... Nah, 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 nah. But the fact that you, the fact that you kept talking, yeah, that helps you stay grounded. Yeah, every it helped everybody stay because you're letting us know you're okay. We're yeah, talking back, yeah. and then when we would talk, you would answer shit. Yeah. You know, so we knew yeah. we knew it was good. Like, it was definitely an experience, bro. Yeah, I feel like I want to do that once a year. Mm. Like go I want to go that far with it. I feel yeah, I want to go like in the beginning of the year before I start my year. I feel like it's good to go there to purge out, bro. Like to get in touch back with the, what's reality because you use yourself, year, you bro. Lose yourself. Yeah. how many people said new year's resolutions and ah and i'm two, two weeks in there they're done right you know what i'm saying like bro i feel like this gives you an awakening and gives you a bigger sense like when i woke up this morning i was like i'm, I'm gonna run with lions i'm gonna get something today yeah That's life is too short and what be i thankful. saw yeah be thankful that you know yeah be thankful is a big important. Be part. thankful for yeah, what you bro. have, man. Yeah. You can take a shower, like that's you were one saying. Of the, yeah, mm-hmm. that's you one know? of the main things I took home, bro. Is just be thankful for what you got, cause mm-hmm. honestly, bro, like when you were sitting there telling your wife, like you know, without yeah, you, yeah, cause like, you pour yourself. Yeah, bro. you poured yourself out to her, bro, yeah. and it's like that's it's real, all her bro. insecurities that we sometimes argue about. Mm-hmm. But at that time, right when I was going through that, there was no pride there. I didn't feel no pride, so I was like, I'm naked. I'm going to tell my wife. I was felt comfortable telling her what I was feeling exactly. All her insecurities, I put them to rest last night right. because we talked about it today. Mm. And she's like, wow, she that's was amazed. That's important, bro. She was mind-blown by that's what amazing. happened. See, bro, you're thinking it was a bad thing, but you yeah, changed bro, this man's I, I life, said dog. It, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, 
You, I know you was tripping at one point. John was <laughs> nah, freaking John was, the fuck out. What? I had to I tell him, what? like, bro, I knew what to expect. So yeah. it did feel like I was dying. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Right. Like, if you want to go there and play with the shrooms like that and be a, <laughs> a gonna, brave boy, yeah. you yeah. go try that, bro. <laughs> yeah. try so when you that motherfucker shows up on you with a stick, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you're done because you ain't getting up. You're going to wake yeah. up maybe nah, six yeah. months and later. You know what? For <laughs> the people that are, that are going to try it, you know what I mean, and, and so are going to go safe. through that, just, like I kept telling Jay, ride the wave. Yeah. Don't fight it, bro. Yeah, dude. You fight it, it's going to be so much worse. It'll punish you. It'll definitely punish you. Ride the wave. Let go. Just let go. And you'll be all right. I'm telling you. Once you come out of the other side, you'll come out of a different person. You'll have a different perspective for sure. Yeah. yeah for real. I love my wife so much more today. Not that I didn't love her yesterday, but I have a greater appreciation <laughs> for her. Yeah, you know? seriously. I have a greater appreciation. We live in a time of a, a, a day now, like, nobody has loyalty. You know, like we were saying? Yeah, for And that goes for spouses, too, bro. Like, yeah. you know, people ain't loyal. My wife has wrote it out 10 years. You That's know what true. I'm saying? I'm 32 years old, 10 years, bro. And we have a great relationship. We've gone through the worst of the worst. The worst. The worst. But I didn't give up. And yesterday, mm-hmm. I was able to pour myself out to her in a way that I've never been in 10 years. And the time because of that, bro, because of that mushroom trip, whoever, people that like might go through an experience like I did might come back and be like, yo, that was a bad trip. The worst trip ever. Right. To me, that was like mind blowing, eye opening. Mm -hmm. Like it showed me so much of who I was and that it's okay to be vulnerable with people. Yeah, right. you know, that's important. Be your that's true important. self. That's really important. Be your true self. You know, be yeah. your too true many self, people, bro. too many people have this like guarded spirit, man. Yeah. And, and ultimately, bro, that, that ends up hurting you. Yeah. yeah. You know, like you gotta, you gotta let some of that stuff out and just, yeah. you know, it's, it's okay. Especially as guys, man. Like yeah. we're all guys. We're trying to be all tough. We're Hispanic yeah, guys yeah. too. Right. Bobby, like, but like, y'all too sorry. Y'all too sorry, but <laughs> not nah, for real. Like guys, prideful, we, we, we're too prideful and yeah. we're raised like, yo, you don't show your emotions. You ain't no little girl. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? No way you're like una nena or whatever. And it, yeah. facts. Bro, like it's. That's devastating, bro. What that does to a male. Self-esteem right. and ego, bro. You know what? I have a nine-year-old. And I've cried with him. I've laughed with him. You know mm, what I'm saying? That's important, bro. You know what I mean? I let him know. Like, today he was off today. Hey, buddy, you okay? You want to talk? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm like, no, nah, something's wrong, bro. You know, he talks to me. Right. I got to do that now. So I, I set a certain example. Because if, man, if, you know, we, we got to try to achieve better every day. Yeah. If you're rolling with people who ain't trying to move or go anywhere, you know, they got to go. Stagnant people, yeah. man. Stay yeah. away from them. Stay away from cold people, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You need people that like actually care about you, bro. And, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I actually want to check up on you for no reason. You say cold people? Yeah, like cold. I'll t- you want to talk about cold? That reminded me of something. The temperature fluctuation when you're going through shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Let me describe it, bro. I'm nice. from upstate New York. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like a winter. Yeah. And then teleporting to a Florida summer. And then going back to a New York winter and then a Florida summer within a span of like minutes apart. You remember mm. that I was like, oh, I'm freezing cold. Yeah, I'm like, and you oh, got under the cover. Yeah. And and I got under the cover. And then like five off. minutes later, I'm like, fuck, my hands are sweating. I feel like I'm going to die. Yeah. <laughs> it feels crazy, bro. But if you do your research, you know you're not going to die and that it's going to feel like you're going to die. But when you come out on the other side, if you truly are honest with yourself, mm. you'll appreciate it. You know what I mean? If yeah. you're not, you're going to be like, ah, oh, fuck that experience. Right. You know, but I didn't. I felt like it showed me who I was. It exposed. Yeah, man, it and that's that's why life. a lot of people don't like it, bro. Because it it shows them it shows them that they're not a good person. And yeah. you know how people are like to be fraud nowadays. Think about social media helps people be the biggest fraud. We live in the golden era of uh, clout chasers, as I like to bro. say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, so, like I could do shrooms. You know, people want to talk down. Oh, he did shrooms, but they're cool with a dude going on uh, YouTube and eating a Tide Pod and smoking one. Right. Imagine if you would have been in 1999 just with a camera and made a video on an old camera, right? Drinking a, a thing of detergent and then showed your boys like, yeah, check this shit out, bro. They're like, what the fuck? Yeah, you stupid <laughs> ass motherfucker. <laughs> Nowadays, people are like, ha, ha, that's cool. I'm going to do it. Bobby, yeah, right. Bobby. Yeah, yeah. Get the Tide Pods in the laundry room. It's the Tide Pod yeah. challenge. Yeah. yeah but you know, it. Hispanic and, and, and uh, uh, black people do not fuck with that shit. Nah. Yeah. But you know, the, you know, I'm sorry to say it, but yeah. I was at Tommy's house and... <laughs> I was like, no, Tommy. I mean, the first time, this is too crazy stuff, bro. They just do crazy stuff. Man, I don't know, yeah, man. Yeah. Like, 
Nah, but yeah, people people just do crazy shit all yeah. over, bro. Like, Did you see the guy with the fire extinguisher? The yeah, yeah, you, you, you showed us that last shit, time. bro. He, yeah, I'm not even.